Here's a quick tip on electronics when you're outfitting your polar craft. One of the hot topics is always what brand or model of fish finder should I use? You know, there's a lot of people say only Hummingbird, only Lowrance, only Garmin. But I think it can help you a lot if you actually use a combination of them, especially at the console. And I'm going to show you what I have going on here and the reasons why. What I chose to run is a Garmin Echomap UHD 93SV along with a Hummingbird 9 Mega Side Imaging Plus. And people talk about having interference with different transducers. Well, I have these mounted right next to each other. And as you can see, maybe on the 2D on the Garmin, there is a slight amount of interference, but I also run my gain high on that one. One of the things you can do with the side and down is you just need to run different frequencies. On the Garmin GT54, which I'm running, the only frequency for down is 840. Now on the Hummingbird, you just want to run them both. Crank them up to mega. And as you can see, there's some structure coming in here. And I'll click on side imaging on both of them. In my opinion, what I've always found is the Hummerbirds have a lot more detail on side imaging and you can play around with the color patterns. I prefer the blue. You don't get as good a picture of the structure, but fish really pop out on it. Now, if I go back here, the down imaging is something else I want to talk about. We'll flip them both to sonar and down. One of the big benefits of having two different brands running is you see different things. Now Garmin's down imaging isn't as crisp, but sometimes you see a lot more than you do on the hummingbirds. Right here you can see we're coming over a few stumps, there's a little tree. And by running these different frequencies, you've got a lot of options. On the side imaging, I always run my hummingbird at about the three times rule. If I'm in 20 foot of water, I run to 60 because of the great detail I get out of it. But on a Garmin run in on a 455 kilohertz frequency, it allows you to really spread this out. So if you're running your hummingbird at 60 feet, you can run, as you can see, I just did here, your Garmin all the way out to 200 feet. Now I never do. I usually run into about hundred feet and it's just a little bit in search mode. And one of the other benefits for a Garmin, and this is what I use it for, is mapping. It comes preloaded with, I think, it's maybe 17,000 lakes. I might be wrong on that, I haven't looked. But every body of water I have been on, it has great maps. The Hummingbird comes with good maps, but the lake we're on right now, it doesn't even have depth contours or anything on it. So that's a big plus. And the interface of the Garmin being touchscreen, it just makes it quick and simple. If you want to grab something there, you can pause it, you can go right to it, you can make a waypoint. And you can change the symbols of it if it's a stump a tree and everything's just so quick to work with there's a few more steps you have to go through on the hummingbird their waypoint management it's still good but it's just not as easy to use as the garmin so if you're ever talking to your buddies or especially online you see everybody talking about which brand to get nothing says you can't have multiple brands I was close to putting Lowrance on, but with Garmin's prices around Christmas time, you can get this UHD 93 for $699 with a transducer. But you're, it's a little bit apples and orange, the Hummingbird or the Garmin unit. The Garmin, something similar, is probably more of the Echomap Ultra line. But for the price, these things are awesome. I haven't had any problems with them. The Active Captain app is great for them. You keep making waypoints and if you don't have them linked together, which I have one on front that I run my live scope on, I don't have it linked together. Anytime I make waypoints at the end of the day, 
I just hook up to my phone, it transferred them all and they're, it's just, it's something that's simple to use and it gives you a big advantage on the water when you can see multiple things on two different screens.